Welcome back to more of the Gaming Blend with Sam Bam. Let's play of Darkest Dungeon. We're going to go for the last Apprentice boss fight, which is great, because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I do want to show you one thing, though, before we go in. There is a very interesting trinket that I probably should have gone ahead and bought. The Bright Tambourine, which is a gesture-specific trinket that... Um, Lowers stress by 25% if torch is above 75. It also gives him plus 20 to his stress skills, which I believe means that his um, inspiring tune, is that what that one's called? Yeah, so it does a lot more stress healing, which would be good. Except, you know, I didn't buy it because I don't have money for it. Because I spent all my money upgrading these characters, these four specifically. So we have our man-at-arms, who I upgraded... Is, oh, I also, uh, I, th I think I, I upgraded the weapons and armor, the blacksmith, a while ago. So we have level three, the ability to get level three weapons and armor for characters, as you can see here. And I actually just went ahead and upgraded the guild, uh, so that now I can get level three skills, which I'm not doing for a lot of characters because it's 600 gold to upgrade a skill, and not a lot of them really need to be upgraded. I did upgrade... Uh, I, I bring in the Houndmaster with me because Hound's Harry is actually going to be very useful against the boss here, at least if I recall correctly. It might, I don't know if they changed how the boss works, but this will be pretty useful as long as it works. I also decided to upgrade the healing skills for the Vestal because of course. And one other thing I upgraded was I did upgrade the Stagecoach so that now there's a chance of getting level 1 heroes instead of levels, just getting level 0 heroes, which is fine. I don't really need any right now, but that's going to come in handy later. So, we're going to go fight the Inchot Flesh. Oh boy. So we have our man-at-arms here, who unfortunately is zoophobic, so it's not great that he's going into the Warrens, but he is a Warrens tactician. We're given the Book of Intuition, so we have a lower chance of getting surprised, and we just get the Ancestor's Candle, which is just a good item to overall. We're giving the Sun Ring and uh, Heavy Boots to our Houndmaster. So he's a bit slow, unfortunately, but he has a good amount of protection on him, which is great. Uh, we give the Jester the, the Fortifying Garlic, because I honestly couldn't think of anything else to give him. I'm giving him the Tough Ring just to, again, to give him a little bit of protection, give him some extra HP. And our Vestal, give her the Feather Crystal to get that extra dodge chance, and the Churgeon's Charm to increase our healing 18 dodge on a Vestal seems pretty darn good to me. Okay. I think we have enough money to go ahead and buy all the supplies we need. Yes, I'm always buying out all the food. No, I don't think I need to all the time. I, you know what? We didn't even see any walls in the last one. I'm going to... I'll hold off. If I have enough money later on, I might consider getting a third shovel, but I probably won't. For those... Let's get four of those. I forgot I have doggy treats also. Don't want to forget that I have those. Four of those is plenty. Four of those is hopefully enough. And you know, I'm just gonna you know, I'll, I'll take I'll take three shovels just in case. It's extremely rare to get that many walls. In my experience, it's extremely rare to get that many walls in the Warrens. But you never know. Anyway, to the flesh we go. My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. So, this is going to be gross. The thing is more it's giving you fair warning. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Another secret room? Are you serious? That's amazing. Okay. So, probably the boss is going to be in the lower left corner, considering where we start. Okay. I think I'm going to do that same thing I did once before and just sort of beeline for the boss. Which means I'm probably going to try to avoid as many fights as I can just to, just to get there. Um, I'm probably not going to go for that curio because if it's one of those curios that uh, increases your stats then I will wait I'll come back and hit up this secret room probably later okay so I think what I'm going to do I know that there's a fight here but I have a feeling that if I just go left and then down that's where the boss is going to be 
So I kind of want to just avoid as many things as I can so that once I defeat the boss, then I won't need to worry about... Uh, I won't need to worry so much about, like, juggling items and all that sort of thing. Okay, no scout, that's fine. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, rack of blades. Please, nobody touch this. Thank you. I really believe this. Yeah, it is. This is one of those few things that actually use our bandages on. I will admit that I had thought briefly, very briefly, about bringing the antiquarian with us instead of the jester, just to try and maximize the money that I could get out of this. But I thought better of it because it's like I, I think it'd be a really bad idea to uh, to do that. So it's nice. One HP away, of course. As usual. Oh, I was not expecting him to get to go next. Works for me. Okay. So Hounds Harry, once he gets to a certain point, is actually very good. Because for the first couple couple levels of it. It only, you know, it does like one bleed damage to all the enemies, um, you know, in, in in a row, like in the entire battle, which is not so great if there's like, you know, two enemies or whatever. But this particular battle, I think it's quite useful. So let's see, he's bleeding for five. Okay, so he's he's beyond done at this point. Let's go ahead and do this retribute. Okay, good. Was he? Oh, right, because of the... I forgot, somehow. I forgot because of the Hound's Harry that he's bleeding. Yep. Uh, you know what? Let's... Mm, let's just hit him. Pretty good damage, actually. I was hoping for a heal, or the ability to heal. I might still have that chance. No, well, you're a little stressed. Let's, let's lower your stress a little bit. Every little bit helps. Okay, good. Okay, let's heal you up. Okay, I prefer you save those kind of heals for later in the game, but that's fine. Uh, let's see, what are you... Yeah, it's just attacking. <laughs> okay, that works. That works for me. Okay, I already can't take everything from here, but that's fine. So leave the citrine. I know I'm just leaving gems behind left and right, and I know it's. I really should be taking all the gems I possibly can. I didn't need to use that torch; that was a waste. Look at that! There's a wall. Who the thunk it? I was proven wrong finally. So there were more walls in this dungeon than there were in the last one. Nobody touch this, please. Thank you. That's weird. It's weird to say that there were more. Really? I think that's the worst reward I've ever seen from a pile of bones. It's terrible. Eh, let's just use another torch, whatever. Crap. Okay. Okay, there is an Eldritch Altar there, I think. So that's like a... I think that's the damage buff thing, so I'm glad we went this way. Please kill this thing. Damn. Okay, 3 HP away. I was gonna say maybe 2 HP away, but not quite. Okay. If I do this, good. All right. It's worth it just to get rid of these things, I think. I, I don't think I can kill this one. He bleeds. What is he bleeding for? Is it two or one? I should have upgraded this skill too. Only one? Wow, I really should have upgraded that one. Oops. Well, no. Okay, good. I really shouldn't have marked him, actually. That was a really bad idea. Oh, no. Okay. Oh no. Less okay. Okay. Alright. Uh. You're not the one who's. Wait, are you? Oh, you are. Okay. Maybe I should have upgraded his skills. Okay, that thing's dead. That's great. Let's see. Hit this one. Good job. Good job, sir. You know what? I don't really need to do anything else. We're fine. This thing's dead. It's all good. Let's just heal up everybody. Okay, keep crit healing. That's fine right now. <sighs> okay. Doing okay for now. It's a ruby. That's worth a lot of money. Okay, we're going to drop that. Bye-bye. Take that. Bye-bye for that. No scout. Unfortunate. Okay, still, I'm going to camp. 
get rid of some stuff. Actually, I just realized we have um, an enormous amount of food. I didn't even bother to see if we have any abilities that prevent nighttime ambush. Really should have done that. I'm pretty sure the Houndmaster has a thing that does that, right? I think. Hound's Watch. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Every rose has its thorn. Okay, we're not, we don't need to worry about, we're not at any stress for right now, so that's fine. What do you have again? Weapons practice. That'd be pretty good to have, actually. Tactics. That would also be really good to have. Okay. We don't really need to worry about anything else. We're good. So, Hound's Watch. Weapons practice, tactics, we're good. I hope we're good. Okay, cool. I'm 95% sure that the boss is down here. And who do we want to increase the damage for? Do we just want to do Jester or... We could do... Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh no, it is what I thought it was, okay. Wait, is it? Hold on. This is different than what I think it is, isn't it? I don't remember. I thought holy water. Um, I thought holy water is what you use on this, but it's not showing me that it is. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let me think about this for a second now, because now I'm concerned. Okay. I don't know if if that's a damage buff. I don't know if that if that affects the reposting or not. I think I'm going to give this to the Houndmaster. Hopefully this is what I think it is. Oh, was it just a stress heal? I guess it might have been just a stress heal. Okay. Wait. No, sorry, I thought there was a negative quirk there. Okay, because I was wrong. Oh well. Shows you what I know, which is to say very little. Great. Great. Great, 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 great. Where are my bandages? Uh, there we go. Okay. Nope. Yes. Oh. Well, this is probably the boss. Fair warning. It's really... It's not here. Well, that's not good. That's actually terrible. Uh, did I did I miss something here? Is there like another giant wing of the map that I didn't see way up north? No? Okay. Guess it's so the bottom right then. Not expecting that. Okay. This sucks. A lot. This really sucks. I, I was sincerely expecting the boss to be there. And the fact that he's not really messes with a lot of things here. Really? That didn't kill? Okay. I'm not sure we're actually even going to be able to keep our buffs to the boss fight now. That's concerning. It's very concerning to me. I don't know what to think about this, actually. Uh, it doesn't really matter who we attack here, does it? Hmm. Okay then. Another one falls. Well, that's one battle down. Unfortunate. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. The light, the promise of safety. That's two battles. Oof. Suddenly, really not liking where this is going. Especially not liking it when that happens. Let's see. Harvest, I guess. That's good damage. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. That's pretty good. It's also good. I like that he moved forward and his corpse is now in the front. Uh... It's very silly. The mark thing is not good. Don't stun, please. Good job. Let's see, what do I even want to do here? Just attack him, I guess. 
grand improvement. <laughs> okay, dude. I get that he's very melodramatic, but... Nice. I like that. Uh, sure, let's just... Oh, I didn't kill him off. Okay. That's fine. He's gonna die from bleed. I'm sorry, I'm a little shook, but just by the fact that... Like, the, the boss is not where I thought he was. No scout again? We're supposed to have 20% extra scouting chance, right? Did I not do that? Doesn't this... Oh, it's party surprised. Okay. That's why... Okay, I was wrong. Oh, that's the plus 30% scouting chance. Okay. So there's nothing... Oh, no. There was, I was going to say, there's nothing in here. Sacrificial stone. I... I don't think I'm supposed to use this. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to use this. I just realized that there's no connection here. Okay. Let's go this way and hope beyond hope that the boss is over here. Good, great, awesome. This this dungeon is not going the way I thought it was going to at all. Mind you. Gold, uh, sure, whatever. Let's lift seven torches, that's plenty. Okay, that's super weird that it's here. That's that's all I'm gonna say about that. Okay, so this is the flesh. Uh, it's awful. So apparently they're all going to go before I get a chance to do anything. I don't remember what those moves do. Uh, I think that's a heal, if I recall correctly. Uh, not 100% sure, though. And I don't think any of these can really be stunned at all. So the thing about the flesh fight is that these uh, different parts of it, they all count as one creature but they all have different abilities that they can do. I think this is the weakest one. The, yeah, this that particular form of it. Not 100% sure, though. I can't remember. It's been a long time. So they have... Interesting. They have no resistance. Oh, so that one does. This one has no resistances to, like, anything. I don't really think I need to worry about stunning, though. So let's do some damage. Nice. Good start, actually. Okay. Yeah, that was a heal. I thought it was. So, seeing as how these things have, like, no resistance... You know what? Actually, no. Better plan. Battle ballad. Much better. Really? You're all gonna go before me, huh? That's a good dodge, actually. Okay. Guess what we're gonna do? Doggy treat! And then Hound's Harry! Nice crit! Alright. I think that's gonna be a big difference right there. Is getting that, uh, getting all the bleed damage, getting a bunch of crits and things. So it's going to move around all the time, and I think these things have really high defense. Yeah, 70% protection. Uh, unfortunate. But they're still bleeding, and what the hell is that one? Uh, high protection. Okay, so it's three of them have very high protection, so I'm probably not going to do much damage to any of them. So I might as well just try to stack bleeds and things. Okay, that's alright. We got one of them. You know what? I'm going to try bellowing. I think they might actually they have... I don't know, very high debuff, debuff resist. That's pretty good. Uh, sure. Let's see. Can I attack this one? It has the lowest protection, right? 30%. Okay. And keep up the... Keep up the Hound's Harries, man. Nice. So you can see why the Houndmaster is really, really useful with this particular fight. Because he's going to help stack the bleeds on four creatures at once. And they all take the, the, that extra damage right there. The fact that we dodged as many attacks as we did up to this point is pretty incredible. I know it's going to change right now, obviously. Okay, that's good. Resisted more things. And, alright. I don't remember what this one does. It's been, like I said, it's been long enough since I fought this thing that I honestly don't remember what the what their things are but it's fine these things have 20 percent bleed resist that's not bad at all might as well just keep hitting them as much as we can with as many attacks as we can what's this thing 50 percent protection 30 30. Are these all 30. that's so that's those two are 50 those two are 30. let's just hit that one i should probably heal a little bit but you know what 
I think we're okay. Alright. So yeah, this thing's gonna... If it doesn't heal itself, which it didn't, then it's gonna die from bleed. Oh. I guess it's not gonna die from bleed. Sure, just smash one of them in the face. There we go. And that's the, that's the flesh fight. It probably is a lot harder. If you, it's much harder of a fight if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. I will say that for sure. Like that was that was probably seemed pretty easy, but it's 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 tough if you don't know what you're doing and you don't have like a hound master who can just stack so many bleeds on your on your enemy that it actually gets frustrating. So that actually is kind of nice. Okay, so that's good, and I think. I'm going to go back and explore the rest of this dungeon because there's a lot of spots that I haven't gone through yet. I don't need my shovels now because there's only one other wall here. Yeah, we're going to get rid of the shovel. There's there's no reason to go that way. I want that money. Okay, so next time we're going to continue exploring this dungeon. We're going to go to that secret room eventually and pick up hopefully a lot more money. And yeah, that'll be, that'll be that for that. So... Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. Please do click the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you'd be so kind because I do post content on a daily basis, which is a miracle considering that I do work full time. So anyway, thank you all for watching and I will talk to you all next time.